Welcome to the Taz Henry Channel Show Cheeky Check-In. I'm just uh, walking home on this lovely evening um, because I had to take my car to get MOT'd. My lovely little car has gone for its month, its weekly, monthly, weekly, annual checkup at the car doctor at the MOT, the Ministry of Transport check thing so anyway that means i need to walk home so you join me thanks for coming with me it's a 13 minute walk so yes it's quite a nice evening really but um I've just got a message from my dad. Yeah, so, um, yeah, thanks for coming. Nice to see you. There's my feet. Proof that I'm walking. Evidence. Evidence that I'm actually doing this. It's not all CGI. Do you dare me to go in that alleyway? Last time I went in that alleyway, I saw a real human shit. I saw actual feces. Fee um, not sure if I want to go down there. I'm going to go around. Yeah. Nice little shot though. Nice little shot. What I've been doing since Christmas is working really hard on track two of my album. Mixing it and I can't, I don't know how to master things yet. But um, I'm mixing it and like cleaning up all of the audio and EQing and compressing and doing all this stuff that I didn't ever really want to get involved with but because I'm so like such a control freak about how I want this music my life's work my adult life's work basically to sound <laughs> it's become to it's become really important to me so I spent ages mixing it and fucking <coughs> around with it and Trying to make it as good as possible. So yeah. This is my Mandalorian um candela cal candela candela. You can see while I was on a holiday, music making, music making, music making, and I'm working the song's called After Cleopatra, back to work. That's how I felt about that. Um yeah. And more recently this last weekend when I was in Centre Parks and I saw you then, you guys, in uh, episode three of the Tars Henry Channel Show Tiki Check-In. Yeah, I was making music on the Friday before I went and then I've been making music when I came back working on this same one song. So I'm back in my studio now. I've got really red eyes because I've been smoking crack. Um, not really, I've just been... I've got really red eyes because I've been rubbing my eyes and uh, my cat's been sat here and I'm a tiny bit allergic to my cat. But um, I love her so much, I don't mind. Okay, so that's why I look like I've been smoking crack. But anyway, not that I know what it looks like if you smoke crack. I don't know, I've never tried it. Um, I'm sure it's very nice. No, hang on, no, I'm, I'm not trying to, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to offend any crackheads out there if I say crack's rubbish. So I'm not going to, I don't need to say that I think crack's nice. What am I talking about? Right. Okay. Okay. What I wanted to talk to you about was not crack. What I wanted to talk to you, here she is, my crack, my, my crack, my, <laughs> my cat, and my cat is giving me a load of shit tonight because I can just, I can see it's coming. She's just, anyway, but she's giving me loads of shit tonight because <clears throat> like you might, you've just seen in my, in my candela, I've been working ridiculous amounts of time i've spent ridiculous amounts of time working on this song after cleopatra and there's so many things that i wanted i could tell you about it i didn't realize until years later it's sort of the music for the theme tune for crocodile dundee inspired this song i wrote it in 2006 it's now Fuck. it's an 18 year old song so after Cleopatra used to be called After Egypt. I think I called it that because 
it kind of looks a bit like after eight you know and it was just sort of association but anyway so these are like the original lyrics very slowly scrolling up the screen and um you can see on the date there it was henry nicholas parkinson the ninth of september 2006 so that's when i wrote that song it's taking me ages and ages and ages to get this song sounding how i want to and i think i'm at the point now where i feel like i want to be where i'm at like oh it sounds amazing i'm so proud of it and i am proud of it but at the same time it's driving me absolutely crazy and you can't you can never know for sure that something's finished when you're making some art you you just there's no way of knowing when it's finished you have to decide when it's finished and I've got to a point where it's like I really don't think I can make it much better than this um I don't know if it's even good anymore I've heard it so many times I don't even know if I like it so what I'm gonna do is play you sort of the finale bit because I'm really proud of it it's got like guitar drones that kind of swirl around and then it's got like a a big well it's got really big drums and it's got um in the in the big bit at the end it's got like um harmonizing voices it's got a big synthesizer that comes in and it sounds a bit like a mountain or like i suppose like a pyramid r r rising out of the desert it's just kind of cool uh, and it's got my favorite bits are these synthesizers from native instruments that are named wolf tickets and I've messed around with them and, added, and I've added loads of effects and twinkly bits and swirly bits. And, and I've been messing around with this song for months. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little clip of the song as it is now. It hasn't been mastered yet. Um, that's going to happen later this year. But I'm really excited. So here is a clip of, of After Cleopatra as it is pre-release before being mastered. <laughs> So I hope you liked it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little clip of After Cleopatra. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Right, sorry, I'm just going to have to get her involved. She's going to come and say goodbye. Right, let's, let's, um, oh, oh dear. I'm not doing it. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah, so uh, I, I better go and give her some attention. No, no, I'm, I'm going to go and give her some attention. Maybe watch a bit of telly and then go to sleep because I need to get up at half past four tomorrow for work which is insane. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's a busy time in Tars Henry Studios, and but I'm sure you're busy too. I hope you're okay, and I hope you're doing the things you want to do. Thanks for popping along to the cheeky check-in. It's hard to imagine that I could love you any more than I do already, but I could. If you like and subscribe and share, 
will like you, I will love you forever, okay? But anyway, forget all that. Yeah, I hope you're good and I hope things aren't too shabby. And I, yeah, just remember to give your pets a squeeze or whoever's near you, give them a squeeze and um, <clears throat> just enjoy yourself, okay? Go and have a chocolate biscuit. What am I talking about? Don't smoke crack. I know I was joking about it. Don't smoke crack. It's a terrible idea. I think it's very addictive. I think it's very Moorish. I think it's probably delicious in a kind of terrible way. So don't do it. Don't even go near it. You know, what the fuck am I talking about? Sorry, I'm, I'm basically, I'm trying to record this. I'm very tired. I've spent all evening producing music. I've spent all day working, tar doing tarmac and stuff like that. And I'm just knackered and I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So I'm, I'll, next week will hopefully be a more focused, specific show. But I just wanted to show you a bit of my music, show you what I'm doing in the studio, update you and check in because this is the Tars Henry channel show cheeky check-in so anyway all the best from me and I will see you next week okay the Tars Henry channel show